Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. This ought to be a fantastic watch, Lee. Yeah, thanks Derek. Should be a good game this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. The initial 11 today for the hosts. What do you think about this particular setup? Well, strikers like support, and they've got support today in the number 10. They've also got three midfield players behind, two slightly wide, and one just sitting in front of the back four. This is how the visitors will set up today. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4-5-1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. They've given it away. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. McCann. Smith. Possession one. And just couldn't keep the ball. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for the visitors. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Others in the vicinity. Phil Jones, that's Phil Jones. Please contact your nearest steward. Into the advanced position. Can't miss, surely. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. 1-0 then. Give it away. And a throw in it's going to be. A real opening now. He succeeds in clearing it. McCann Smith moving forward effectively and Scott for the cross it's in and looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in well a second goal for them here they've regained possession I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Northampton Town. 25 minutes played. 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. The visitors have totally controlled possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. a risky challenge but brilliantly executed that is excellent pressure high up the pitch 
I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. It's a perfect challenge. Good use of advantage by the referee. I think everyone knew that was foul play. And the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. Following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just mistimed his tackle. And the keeper takes charge and dealing with the free kick. Having won the ball. It has to be! Nice and easy for the keeper. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Bradford City. 37 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Teammates could potentially join in. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Can't miss, surely! And this time, it's in! Well, here it is. You have to say it's against the run of play, but they've soaked up the pressure and gone and got himself a very important goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Big chance to get them on terms. Will he finish? Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, Derek, all that work in the first half has gone to waste. Conceding just before the half-time whistle. The manager will be fuming. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Glut of goals, two apiece. And with that, the first half draws to a close. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. McCann. Well, that's not watertight defending. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Swindon Town. 50 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? McCann. Wonderfully weighted pass. It should be. Oh, it's off the post. And the ball is in the net. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. He's got to score! Off the post and back in play! He's played it out over the touchline, so a throw-in to restart things. Fruitful-looking attack. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally? It's a third goal for Bradford City. 61 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Opportunity to deliver the cross. A poor cross, all things considered. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Can they get in behind them? 
wonderful chance. Competence from the keeper. Yeah, concentration for goalkeepers. He was spot on there. Played into the centre of the box. Punched away. Tremendous block. Give it away. Giving it a try. Plenty of interest in Wolves and what they've been doing on the transfer front. Good news for Wolves fans, Lee. New signing in place. Well, it's a reported fee of around £45 million, Derek. He's definitely worth that sort of money in my book. Good, solid pro. Technically really gifted too. What can he do from here? Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Given it straight to the opposition. Can he give them the lead? And this time it's in. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. They couldn't maintain possession. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. Ten minutes left for play in this match. And very deftly cut out. Someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Morecambe. Six minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Burko Vera now. They've given it away. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. They've regained possession. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. But they look as though they want to make this move count. Can they win it right here? And the referee says that is all for today.